hey, Kofi Kunudu Apreko, he's my boss, you know. Uh, Kofi Kunudu Apreko is, uh, you know, his strength and weaknesses. You know, he was a great member of parliament uh, during the opposition era, 96 to 2000, when I covered parliament. Oh, my goodness, you would like to get an interview with him all the time. Kofi Kunudu Apreko is he's a sharp shooter. He's great in the uh, 2000 budget, the budget that was read by Richard Kwame Pepra. Uh, what then sparked to become a campaign message of the MPP. The budget was ready in March. The election was in December. Kofi Kunudu Apriku, who was the spokesperson on finance, when he was asked, what, is the, the, what does he make of the budget? He said, a lame duck budget from a lame duck government. Get them out. He said that in March, and it hit the streets. It became, there was no social media then, but became a campaign mantra, and everybody was quoting him. He said, a lame duck budget from a lame duck government. Get them out. And, it, you know, the people rallied around that call and eventually led to Jay for being elected months later in December of the same year. So Kofi Kunodopriko has a history with the party. He does. He has a history with the party. The problem, though, is that he's been out in hours. People have forgotten about him. They're not sure whether he's there. And also, because he's been around the party for so long, they put him in the category of Jay Kufo and J.H. Mensah and uh, Odoi Sykes and Peter Ajete. So... Uh, they, they put him, they, they throw him to the history. They don't think that he is part of the modern thinking and the future of the MPP. They are wondering that, ah, but if we are seeing Akufado off, then we are bringing Apriku. And yeah, are we going forward or are we coming back? That's what is hurting his campaign. That's the, they, they think that, ah, you are Nanado's contemporary. You and him were a minister, you came from America, all, all of you did very well. Safo Mafo's contemporary. And you are running for presidential candidate today in Ghana in MPP. Why? 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 That's the question they're asking him. That your, your, your time is past. Your contemporaries are exiting presidency. Your contemporaries are exiting senior ministerhood. Your contemporaries are Jay for They are ex-presidents times four. It's not the time for Kofi Kunudu Apriku. So do we put him in the five? No, please, we don't. Good evening, sir. Yes, Bwache Jaku is an interesting, very, very interesting, uh, different kettle of fish, you know, completely different kettle of fish. Bwache has the knowledge of the party. It's in his head. There are not many UP intellectuals. In fact, Bwache Kra is not UP. Bwache is extremist MPPO. So Bwache is NLM. Bwache is not UP. Bwache is NLM. That's Bwache Jaku. That's his kind. People like him, they're NLM. They are radicals of the new patriotic party. They are radicals of the Dan Kwabuzia philosophy. Total radicals. They are the Al Jazeera. Eh, what do they call them? The, no, ISIS is the, the other one. The, 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 the Hamas and Hezbollah. Boache Jaku is the Hamas and Hezbollah of MPP. They are MPP ideologues, blue blood, radical. Radical, radical. So he has that connection with the party. Even if you sack him from government, he's still MPP. That is Bache Jaku. He's, he's true blue blood. MP, not like Kwabene Japan's blue blood, though. Bache is radical. Bache is to the, to the extreme. He's very radical on UP tradition. Dan Kwabuzia, he knows how the UP people pray. He knows how they stand up, how they sit down, how they walk, how they wear cloth. Bache will tell you that, ah, now UP ni na ufran tuma sa. Ma men chao on tuma fra. Joe apia. Say na no ufran tuma. That's Bache Jaku. He knows how UP works, how they talk, how they sit down, how they, that's him. He's a UP ideologue radical. If he had remained energy minister and there was no issues about a deal or a Mary or all of that, because he's quite incorruptible, even with all of that, watch is still stands tall when it comes to corruption. All the rumors of a Mary and all of that put together. Watch is so incorruptible that it really didn't do much to his uh, incorruptibility. But if he had remained minister and that matter had not happened, and he had been minister till, and of energy till 2020 and beyond, and a big end, in spite of COVID and all that, if the lights had been kept on, which is a significant denominator between John Mahama and whoever is challenging him, the light was kept on, I bet you, he would have been a very, very interesting challenger to Dr. Baumia. If that process that I'm describing had occurred, if Boachi had been there and the lights were on, everybody knows the lights are on, tires are not high. And in 2023, MPP can say that not once since 2017 has the lights gone off. Because when Boachi was there, the lights didn't go off. We know that. It started going off. I'm not saying if he wasn't, if he was there, it won't go off. I don't know. 
but that's at least the record he held until he left. And they could talk about the light on. They would call him Papa Kosombo and things like that. And he would have just cascaded right into the top of the contest. But because he left and because the government moved on without him, I think he lost significant ground in the process. He lost significant ground because he left and the government appeared to have moved on without him. And uh, in 2020's campaign, they don't remember much of him. So that ground is lost. It's, it's gone. But if the MPP know what is good for them, this is still a very, very important intellectual and human resource to have within your campaign, political campaign. This is a very, very good brain to have within your campaign. Do we put Bwache Jaku in the five? I'm sorry, no, we don't think so. Subscribe.